you guys welcome back okay so today I just wanted to sit down and do a full face of makeup it's been a minute I have not been doing makeup as much as I typically like to I've been a little bit off you know lately so haven't really been feeling it and this eye over here for some reason got extremely irritated and it was red for the longest time I do wear contacts so sometimes I have contact issues, but yeah, this eye was just like not having it. So I wasn't going to come on here with a big red eye <laughs> trying to put some makeup on. But anywho, I'm back and today I wanted to play with a few new things that I have added to my collection. You know, some of my Shop My Stash stuff, new palette. I also picked up the Fenty Beauty, the new skin tint. So this is what I am wearing today. If you're curious to see the application and just kind of hear my thoughts, stay tuned for that. I also tried out this new BH Cosmetics BFF palette. Well, it's not ne necessarily new anymore, but it's new to my collection. So that's what I am wearing on my eyes. So yeah, I tried out a few other new things. I got this... Um, Prime Beauty Loose Powder, and I've had this for a little while, and I was just like, oh, I need to try that out. Tried out a new lipstick. Finally, this Coco by Kylie came in this little, like, four-pack from Ulta, so I did go ahead and use that today. So, anyway, that's just some of the new items that I tried out. If you'd like to hear my thoughts and kind of see the application process, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so my face has already been cleansed and moisturized. And now, as you can see, I'm just going in and filling in my eyebrows, or as I like to say, basically drawing on some eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going in with my pure on point pencil in down to earth. And then I'm going in with my Wet n Wild concealer and just cleaning them up a bit making them look a bit more neat using it on the top and the bottom. I like this concealer because it's not too bright, but it does help to make my brows look a little bit neater. So yeah, I'm just using a flat brush to go ahead and do that. Now to prep my lids, I am going to be using my Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer today. And as you can see, I'm just using a dense brush to kind of spread that out all over my lid. And then I'm going in with one of my teeny tiny beauty blender sponges just to kind of spread that out and make it nice and even. So this is the palette for today, you guys, the BFF palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm starting out with the shade BFF. Very, very light, pale, kind of like dusty rose pinky shade. I will admit, I thought it would be just a little bit darker, but it actually is fine because for my complexion, it's like the perfect type of transition shade for this eye look, if you will. It just, you know, blended out nice and smooth. As you can see, though, it's very, very light. So next, I'm going into Mexicana. This is kind of like a pinky red type shade. I will admit I thought it would come off a little bit more bricky red when I placed it on my lids, but it does have a bit more of a pink hue to it, at least in my opinion. But I'm just tapping that in my crease and gently blending it out, making sure that it is nicely blended into that first transition shade. So as you can see, it is decently pigmented just not as dark as I thought it would be. Now to deepen it up, I'm going into OOTD, outfit of the day. <laughs> and I'm just taking that darker brown to kinda help deepen up that shade in my crease. And this shade, once again, <laughs> is not as dark as I thought it would be, but it did help to kinda deepen up that outer corner. And I did drag it into my crease area just a little bit and also used it to deepen up that pinky red shade a bit, you know, do what I want it to do, okay? So now I am doing a cut crease for today's look. I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. This is a super bright white one in the shade Halo. And as you can see, I'm just taking my time trying to get this cut crease <laughs> as even as possible, okay? 
which can be difficult for your girl because y'all know I have vision issues, but this is what we have today. So to start off this cut crease, I'm going into this pretty light blue shade called Malibu. I kind of decided at the last minute I wanted to do an all matte look. So I went ahead and just started out with this matte shade, tapping that on the inner portion of this cut crease. And I think that it came out pretty nice and pigmented on top of that white cut crease canvas base. I think that kind of helped it to pop a bit, but as you can see, that color is showing up just fine on that inner portion of this cut crease. Now I wanted to try out this darker blue shade, which is, it looks like Salvadorena, Salvadorena. And I'm placing that right next to that light blue. And you know, dealing with matte shadows on a slightly tacky base, you kind of have to take your time with it. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with the light blue and the dark blue, just blending those edges together, trying to get as seamless of a blend as I possibly can. But yeah, eventually I was able to get those two blues to blend together nicely, but it wasn't a just super easy task, if you know what I mean. So I decided to go in with that pinky red shade and just kind of tap that next to that blue because that's as far as I wanted that blue to go. But I needed it to be a little bit darker just to kind of help the look out. So I went in with that dark blue sh or dark brown shade, OOTD, just to kind of help deepen up that red and just help it to blend with that blue a little bit better, you know, keep it from turning purple. Now I also decided I wanted to use that brown shade kind of like a liner for this look. So to create the illusion of an eyeliner, I just kind of tapped that right next to my lash line and just kind of, you know, make it look like it's a liner there, but it's really just shadow. So that's the eye look. Now let's move on to the face. To prime my face, I'm using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Nice primer. I think it basically feels like a moisturizer to me though, but it worked out fine. And to handle these dark circles, of course you guys know I love using my Essence Camouflage Concealer. Since I'm using the Fenty Skin Tint today, I knew that I definitely needed to handle these dark circles <laughs> under my eyes, as well as tone down this hyperpigmentation around my mouth. You guys know how I do it, so just trying to take care of that a bit since I'm using a lighter type of foundation. So this is the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. I have the shade 20 and I'm just shaking it up just to kind of make sure it's nice and blended and just placing a strip on each of my cheeks and I'm using my Jessup. I really love this brush, you guys. This is a Jessup MUL02. Got this out of a set in one of my Amazon brush sets so it's definitely affordable but i just love the shape of this brush it has kind of like that slanted flat type you know side so anyways i like it i think it's perfect for foundation placement it works great so as you can see i'm just kind of spreading out that fenty skin tint and i feel like it's working out nicely quite frankly i like how it is you know spreading out with the brush the coverage is staying on my face it's not disappearing and it's blending nicely with that concealer so you can see here what it looks like with it on my face and the side that i haven't blended out yet so i was pretty uh happy with the shade that i chose and how it matches you know my chest and everything so very very happy about that just applied a little bit to my forehead and you can see there you can actually see the coverage pretty good as I'm applying it here so yeah I definitely thought that it was going to be way more sheer than it actually is I like it thus far so to brighten I'm just using a little bit of my elf hydrating concealer not for coverage as you can see but definitely just to add a little bit of brightening to those highlighted or lifted areas of my face 
using the same Jessup brush to blend that out. Usually I'll use my sponge, but since I'm trying to keep my coverage today, I'm just sticking with the brush. Now to set all of this in place, I am using this Prime Beauty Powder. This is a really nice powder, you guys. And as you can see, <laughs> decided to go ahead and try out one of these little puffs. I ordered some of these puffs from Amazon and I like them. You know, I like to try out different things every now and then. And I know some people use them all the time, but yeah, this is my first time really using a puff to apply my powder all over. And I actually really like it, especially the little triangles. They just fit right under your eyes. So now for my bronzer, I'm using my Tammy and Revolution palette. This is Paradise Glow. I really like this bronzer. I feel like it is a really good shade for me and it's very easy to use. Easy to blend, buildable, not harsh. It works well for me. So <laughs> I really, really like her face palette. So that's what I use today. I even decided to chisel out my nose a little bit, y'all. Look at me. Look at your girl, okay? <laughs> so yeah, for blush, I'm going in with my Lottie London Blush Crush in the shade Zac. And I feel like this color was really nice. It's perfect for this eye look. It has that little rosy, burgundy type tint to it. And for this to be an affordable drugstore brand, this blush as you can see, shows up really nicely, very, very nicely. So for my highlighter, I decided to go ahead and use my Vanity Makeup Face Palette. And it is a cream palette. So I just use a little bit of a denser brush to apply that on my cheekbones. I also applied a little bit to my nose to give it a little bit of glow. And I really like this highlighter. It's very pretty. It's a nice cream formula. So I'm going back into the palette for my lower lash line and I'm just smoking that out with the shade Wine and Dine. That is a very deep dark burgundy shade. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going in with one of my LA Girl kind of like cream gel liners. This one is in the shade Mermaid Teal Frost. Really, really pretty blue. I thought it would go nicely with this cut crease. And so yeah, I'm trying I'm really trying to be careful with this because I don't want my eye to turn red again. It really got irritated, you guys, but it's getting better now. So for lashes, I'm using some of my lollipop lashes and for glue, I'm using my Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I've been trying this out for a while. This stuff is so easy, you guys. It is so easy to use. Only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it gets dirty you know of course when you're using it on top of eyeshadow your applicator is going to get dirty so for mascara going in with my maybelline what is this the sky high mile high <laughs> sky high mascara using that on my upper and lower lashes i really like that mascara you guys it's really good and for my lips i'm using one of my dj's boutique lip liners this is a really pretty dark brown i don't know the shade name you guys i'm so sorry but yeah all of her stuff is bomb so just buy all the liners okay because they all bomb and for my lipstick i'm going in with this kylie and coco matte liquid lipstick i didn't know that it was completely matte until i put it on and it dried down but i actually really liked it it lasted through me snacking and all kind of stuff you guys very nice lipstick and it's comfortable so I went in with my Morphe Setting Mist to set my face in place, and this is it, you guys. So yeah, even though I haven't really been feeling like putting on makeup, I really enjoyed creating this look for you guys today. I hope you like it. It's all matte, no shimmers. So I'll have to try out the shimmers in this palette on another date. But yeah, I like how the matte shadows perform. Not quite as deep as I thought, but I really do like them. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!